Are you thinking of getting a pet turtle or maybe a tortoise? Maybe you heard they make great pets or maybe your kid really wants one. I like turtles. Either way, you're in the right place. <laughs> Today we're talking about whether turtles and tortoises make great pets. Cause sometimes they do and sometimes they don't. First of all, turtles can be really fun and cool little pets, but they're definitely not as cool as these guys. Having a turtle can make you feel close to nature. They can be fun pets to have around, especially if you're looking for something a little different. They're like having a little dinosaur with a shell. Well, with what some people call interesting, some people call boring. Turtles and tortoises, for the most part, aren't that interactive as pets. If your idea of bonding with your pet is taking them to work, going to the park, going for a jog. Jogging, what's that? Just don't expect your turtle to do too much. Best case scenario, your turtle's gonna look at you like some big food processing unit. Kind of like the way I look at In-N-Out burgers. Well, if you're worried about not being able to form a bond with your turtle, don't forget, these guys can live a long time. With proper care, a red-eared slider could easily live into their 20s. A Russian tortoise could live 40 to 60 years. A Sulcata tortoise could live 80 years or more. This is the one pet you might want to put in your will. Maybe you don't want to have a pet that long. Let's face it, the same kid that wants a turtle now is going to want a Lego set by next Christmas. <laughs> And in the big picture, he's probably moving out in 10 to 12 years. Let's hope, unless he's still playing with Legos in your basement. Is awesome. If you get a turtle or tortoise, make sure you're willing to take care of the turtle after the kids lose interest, because most likely, they will. And don't forget about salmonella. That's nasty. Another great thing about turtles is they don't take up a lot of space. They're quiet and small, and they can be great for people who live in apartments or people who don't have a lot of room. Simple creatures to care for, right? Great for busy people. Just turn on a light, drop some food, clean up some poop every now and then, and you're good to go. Just repeat that for another 50 years and you're good, right? And if he looks lethargic or sick, he's just hibernating, right? Wrong! Turtles have very specific dietary requirements depending on the species. You can't just drop food in the tank every now and then and expect your turtle to be healthy. Turtles and tortoises in captivity need access to specialized heat, specialized lighting, and calcium supplementation. And if they don't have all these things, unfortunately, they're gonna get pretty sick. Now, turtles and tortoises can get sick for other reasons. Just because they're still moving around and eating doesn't mean they're healthy. So make sure you take them to the vet at least once a year. Now I wanna hear from you. What kind of turtle or tortoise are you thinking of getting? Let me know in the comment section below. So what's the answer? Do turtles make great pets? It really depends on what you're looking for in a pet. If you don't mind having a pet that may outlive you, that's very simple in its personality, but may have some difficult nutritional requirements, then a turtle or a tortoise may be a perfect pet for you. Hopefully this video helped you to make up your mind whether you want to get a turtle or not. One thing's for sure. I like turtles. So do I, kid. So do I. Hey, did you like the video? Well then click on the like button and don't forget to subscribe. Remember, this video is one part of a five part series on whether reptiles make great pets. Check them out and I'll see you in the next video.